Hello, this is Happy Zaldord12345, and the game screwed me over in Let's Play Twilight Princess. As you remember last episode, I was in that lantern cavern over there, and I saved while I was in there. However, instead of taking me right outside of the lantern cavern and right next to Epona, it started me back on the bridge. I'm not sure why they went with that, but... I don't see why they couldn't just take me right outside of the Lantern Cavern. Not that it's that big of a deal, but... With the fact that you can't change between day to night, it kind of bothers me that we lose just a few seconds. I'm kind of time obsessed like that. Anyway, over here is Dig Cavern number 6. Okay, now we have just key sand Deku plants and another going chew. Man, they're giving out a lot of those. I guess he didn't expect us to you know, find all of the dig caverns. Okay, that rat's somewhere over there. There we go. And more money. Well, that was simple enough. I probably should use a Gale Boomerang for this. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna need to be a little quick with this one. Wait, no, don't turn into a wolf. Come on. Okay, I wanna... I want to head north of here now. Okay, now I wanna go under that bridge. You might have come here earlier in the game and noticed that there was a chest. And now we're able to get to it with the claw shot. And in here is... An orange rupee. Okay, let's get out of there. Night's falling. I want to have as much time as possible when night falls so that I can kill more foes. Okay, this is where the next dig cavern is. Right, this patch of grass. And why didn't you kill that bomb skid, Epona? Come on, after that impressive performance 20 episodes ago. Okay, here's dig cavern number 7, which is just a fishing spot. Yeah, I'll fish for a little. There are some items you can get here that aren't fish, though. Let's see what I'll get. Come on. Okay, it's just a green gill. Let's try that again. I'll keep on fishing off screen until I get something. Okay, let's get rid of that. Not sure why a boot would be in there, but... Okay. I should check if there are any special rupees in this chest. Nope. Let's see if there's anything different here. Yeah, I feel like screwing around today. There are a couple other things you can get here, but I can't remember what they are. Okay, I'm just gonna fish one more time and then I'll leave.
And it's just another boot. Wow, the command was rather blunt that time. I'm actually glad I caught it at that second time. Well, let's head off. And I should have these prepared. Let's head off. To Lake Hylia. Yeah, there's just one more dig cavern I'm able to get to before nighttime. Always will be pretty close to nighttime. Right around here. Crap. Okay, now up there are some claw shot medallions. Kind of hard to see. Here we go. Okay, I made it here before the Poe showed up. Okay, this is Dig Cavern number 8. And I'm just gonna claw shot these enemies. I think that's the most effective way to dealing with these guys. And of course, spin attack if a bunch of them get close to you. Come on. Let me target you. I said, let me target you. Dang it. Get back here. Aha. Ah, oh, no finishing pose. Oh well. I forget what's in this chest and get up there. And orange rupee. Crap. I'm 19 or I have 19 rupees too many. Okay, and this chest I passed up here is Yeah, a purple rupee. Unlike the other Zelda games, we actually put them back in the chest if it fills up our wallet. Well, if it doesn't fit into our wallet, that is. Okay, I actually got here faster than I planned. So, I'm going to wait around here. Where are you? There you are. Yep, there's a Poe here. That's why I chose this place to stop. We had just enough time. Okay, now I'm going to head all the way back to Southern Hyrule Field. And I'll take a Pona. Sometimes I'm not sure if I should uh, stick it to wolf form or use a Pona, but yeah, I'll stick with her. I never have tested out which one is faster. I would assume Epona. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm aiming for somewhere in the middle. Ah, you can see it off in the distance. Our next Poe. This will be quite a battle here. Mainly because we have a lot of other enemies coming in. Whoa. Nope. Alright, got it. You could use Minna's area attack in order to get rid of the pose, but I don't need it. 
Okay, now I want to warp back to Kakariko Gorge. Because there's another Poe over there. Yeah, as you can imagine, this is somewhat tedious. And I had to go through three playthroughs in order to plan all this out. I have my notes right in front of me just to make sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, here's the other Poe. Come down here. Crap. Nope. Target the Poe. Thankfully, I can change my targets around unlike Bayonetta. Well, it's still a really good game. Even though I'm not a hack and slash fan. Okay, now we've got quite a few posts to take care of here in Kakariko Village. You got one in the graveyard, which I'm going to head to right now after healing up a bit. I don't think I ever said that you could heal up in the springs, but, well, you can. Unfortunately, I forget if time passes while you're in the graveyard. And it's something else I just never tested. Okay, here's the other. Well, the only Poe in the graveyard. I'm already getting too used to saying the other Poe. Okay, is that it? Just looking at my notes to make sure. Nope, there's another one here. Good thing I checked. Let's see. Yep. For some reason I thought that was a golden bug, but nope. Yeah, that is an unfortunate thing about the golden bugs. They still reappear in the same places after you get them for some bizarre reason. I don't really get the point of that. Oh well. Hmm? Oh, up here. Yeah, it's just more ways to take care of. Let's see, can we jump up there? Oh yeah, this is the Goron I was talking about earlier. This is what he sells. Yeah, it's nothing special. Dang it. Looks like we're gonna need to climb up a in human form. I was hoping it not to need to transform, but oh well. Also, speaking of transforming, you it can't do it when you're uh, in uh, other people's field of vision. Should I stock up on more bombs? No, I'm good. Oh yeah, while I'm here. We now have a third type of bomb, bomb wings, which are completely useless to me. It's kind of like the bomb chews in Ocarina of Time, except you just put them down and they run forward. They don't climb up walls. At least I'm pretty sure they don't. I never use them. Anyway, I never did read this sign. But what if I want to use lanterns? How does that work? I'm serious. How do you make water come out of a wooden ceiling? Well, let's head on. There are two more Poes here. This is actually the very first Poe I ever encountered in Twilight Princess. And no, I wasn't in wall form at the time. Dang it. Yeah, you can miss. Ah, I got back up. Hell with it. I don't know why I like turning off the sense like that. I guess it just looks a little cooler to me. Now this Poe can be a little tricky. 
because as you can see, we can fall off very easily. Come on. Yeah, don't use Minna's area attack here. And that's pole number... I have no idea, I haven't been keeping track. Ten. Yeah, we've already got a good chunk of them. Okay, I'm not sure whether I want to warp up Death Mountain or walk up. Okay, I want to walk. Uh, I'll turn into a human right now. Should I? No way, I can have Minda jump up. I was thinking that I would use the Claw Shine or to get up the first gate really quickly, but no, I can just have Minna get me up there. Let's get going. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not in the Goron's field of vision. This is good enough. There you are. Now we want to talk to this Goron here. That's right. Let's go. But instead of getting up there, we want to go up here. Get up there. Okay, now we have a pretty tricky pole to take on. Whenever you're at a dangerous ledge with a Poe, try to lure it away, even if it's time-consuming. Dang it! I'm gonna use this anyway. No? Come on? Okay, I got it with its head stuck in the ground. Whatever. Okay, now I want to head this way. Because there is one other chest we can get here now. Oh, what does that Goron kid there have to say? Well, we can't transform here. Dang it. If we go in there, we're gonna fall. Is this good enough? Dang it. I'm curious as to what that kid has Wow, that worked! Yeah, sometimes the stupidest areas are safe enough. Hey. Yeah? That's it? I know I've said this several times during the Water Temple, but the game's trolling me now. I just know it. This is getting stupid. There's heart piece number 19. Okay, we did a pretty good amount of uh, ghost hunting, so I'm going to stop here for now. <laughs>